What's going on folks? Cody from Southeast Softwash. It's the 28th of September. I'm headed uh, up to my dad's house to pick up a prototype of a gizmo that we've been working on for a little while. But this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about a concept that comes from the kind of the, the policing world really, but it has origins in the Air Force. Any military guys may know what I'm talking about here. It's called the OODA loop, O-O-D-A, OODA loop. And what is that and how can we apply it to business? So I think it actually applies really good to business stuff. And I did a video mm, probably over two years ago about this and I wanted to kind of rehash it because we've got so many more people on the channel now than I did back then. But uh, I think it's a really good segue. So the guy that invented this, this kind of, it's a mindset thing. Uh, he was a Air Force pilot instructor, something like that. I think his name was Boyd, something Boyd. And he came up with this, it's sort of a philosophy. And basically what his, what he was getting at with this, this mindset thing is you got to OODA, O-O-D-A, number one, observe, number two, orient, number three, decide, and then number four, act. And these are the stages. This is the life cycle of a decision-making process. So Obviously in business, we make tons of decisions every day, every few hours, right? We're making decisions. So in this kind of a little bit rougher economic time right now, we're in you know late summer of 2022, and uh, the last year has definitely not been fun at all, going all the way back to COVID lockdowns and supply chain problems, and now we're dealing with a recession. I don't care what they say, we are in a recession because we're gonna go by the, uh, the definition we've always went by, right? So we've had two quarters of negative GDP growth and inflation's through the roof. I think yesterday they raised inflation rates again and they're planning on raising them you know, several more times. So everything is not great. We've got a lot of guys that are new to the industry and I feel bad for them really being new to any industry. It wouldn't matter what you were in. If you had started a lawn care, if you started a tree surgeon, if you had started being a, you know, any of these, these types of painter, anything like that, any of these type of service industry jobs, uh, this is not a great year to judge how good you can do off. It's just a bad year. It's, it's just a drought year. So regardless, we've got a lot of guys that are experiencing that. And I wanted to give you some tips that I've, I've kind of learned and I try to implement. I just met somebody in the road I knew. I know everybody in town, so I have to, I have to wave a lot. Um, OODA loop stuff. Okay, so let's talk about it. When we're talking about in business or in a tactical scenario, it, the, uh, the guy that came up with it, he related it a lot to dog fighting in an airplane. Hey, before I get too far in this video, I'm going to forget. I wanted to let you guys know some really cool stuff is dropping. And one of those is my, one of my good buddies, one of my best friends on the planet, Aaron Parker, just released his first book this week. It's the number one seller on Amazon, uh, in its particular category the other day. So I'm going to have a link down below. It's a, uh, it's a Kindle book. I think he's got some hard copies coming as well. I've uh, read a little bit of it. It's, it's really good. It's called Tough Love Series, Volume 1, and it's Q&A, basically, from guys on his channel uh, about the industry. So if you guys want to get some good reading in that's specific to our world, grab the book. Like I said, link be down below. There'll be a bunch of links down below, but that'll be in there with the rest of them. So I highly recommend you check his book out. Anyway, back to the OODA loop thing. So he's a dogfighter. He's a pilot, and his job training other pilots is to train them how to spot the threat, orient themselves in that aircraft to be able to take that that threat out right and gain advantage well that's basically what we do in business uh we've got to spot the threat we've got to observe number two we've got to orient ourselves to the threat there's another guy i know with an aluma max whoa aluma max just passed us so weird um i built that unit right there very cool you got to observe the threat you got to orient yourself to the threat or to the problem you've got to decide what you're going to do and then you've got to act. Makes a lot of sense when you lay it out that way. But a lot of people, they get hung up on step one. They don't observe the threat. We could all look at the same thing, uh, whether it's in business or a self-defense scenario or anything, and you're gonna get different perspectives on what you're actually seeing. When we go to a restaurant, I know a lot of you guys are like me. You're, you're very observant of what's going on. You're very aware. You're, you try to be situationally aware, right? You're, you're, uh, you're about that life. And so what that means is, is you see a room differently. I see exits, I see entrances, I see fire extinguishers. I'm looking to see if they have an AED. I'm looking at all those things and I'm kind of staging 
the uh, the lay of the land as you as you will so the better you get at doing that you almost can start forecasting the future and in business that is extremely important uh, this year being not a great year it's a little tougher to get jobs it's a little tougher to close the deal you need to be able to see that right and if you can see that quicker than your competitors see it it allows you to position yourself quicker more quickly than your competition and you'll be at a position to take advantage of the changes in the marketplace you hear this word thrown around a lot I think it's overused but the word pivot in business that's what they're talking about they're saying hey I've observed the problem, and then step two, I'm pivoting, I'm reorienting. So those two really go together. Uh, you've got to be able to see the problem for what it is. You've got to be able to see, okay, we're going into an economic downturn, right? What's the problem? Here's a great example. Even not not in an economic downturn year, just a regular year, here's a problem for guys in the, uh, the northern regions or even in some of these southern states. Winter time's coming. Pressure washing is seasonal. Therefore, what do you do during the cold months? A lot of guys, they flex over into Christmas lights, right? It's a great idea. The same clientele, you get to observe the problem months and months and months ahead of time, and you say, hey, I'm no dummy. I know in the dead of winter, I'm not pressure washing. What am I gonna do? I could say, I'm just gonna stack a bunch of cash back and take the winter off, or do what a lot of, a lot of guys do. They get into Christmas lights and these other services that complement pressure washing. So. Number one, observe, get a feel for the lay of the land. We have so many guys that they just don't even know their numbers, right? If you don't, that's why we harp on numbers so much. If you don't know your numbers, you literally don't know the lay of the land and you've gotta be able to see that sky. If you're in that dogfight scenario and you see a black dot out there in the sky, you gotta know, is that a plane? Is it a flock of birds, right? What is that thing? And then you can attack it. So observe, number two, orient, get into position. What does that mean? It means building your your systems, building your team, building your uh, capabilities, building your training, your equipment, whatever it is to be able to tackle the problems that you're likely to face after you observe them, all right? So you gotta position yourself. A lot of that's just in here. It's psyching yourself up mentally to know, okay, I'm gonna be able to do this, this, and this. I'm not ready to do that, so I need to work on that. That's the uh, orientation factor there. So we've got observe, we've got orient, get ready to tackle the problem. Number three, you've got to decide. You have to actually make a decision of what you're going to do. This one's pretty easy. I think most guys kind of, fellas anyway, we have some ladies that watch the channel, but we're we're pretty decisive. We don't mind making a decision. Uh, so many folks though, they just won't make a decision. They're never successful because they never take the plunge. It doesn't matter how much you stay up reading and learning and getting ready to launch your business at some point you have to actually go out there and launch the business we've had guys with our rigs they'll have a year old rig and only used it like three or four times like dude what is, worst return on investment ever right it has nothing to do with the rig it's them not deciding to get out there and put some shoe leather and actually get to work so observe orient number three decide and then finally you've got to actually act you've got to put things into action Look, we're having a series starter boot camp coming up. It's actually next week, October the, is it next week or the next one? It's October the 7th, it's that weekend. I'll put a link for it down below as well. Uh, but guys come to the boot camp. they come to our training on Fridays, they come to maybe WashCon, some of the events. We can give you all the information in the world, how to wash, we, you can take the classes, you can get the equipment, you can listen to Aaron, you can listen to Justin with Facebook strategy, Mike, and all that stuff, but you've got to put it into action. It ain't gonna go, to quote my, sales guy on Friday. Jonathan always tells everybody on Friday, it's not going to go unless you go. You've got to get up and get out there and get after it, right? So, OODA loop, I think it's cool. I think it's uh, it's not really used when times are good, but when times are bad, whether that's seasonal changes, right? Whether that's your marketplace changes, whether it's the U.S. goes into a bad economic time for a few years. These are all opportunities for us to apply the OODA loop concept be quick on the draw, find the problem, figure out what we're going to do, and implement. Hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, tomorrow's Thursday. Friday, we'll be sending out some more equipment. You know what we do. Same thing every week. We'll see you guys in the next video.